guys, welcome back to Ashire Books. Today is going to be a Top 5 Wednesday. Top 5 Wednesday is run by Sam at Thoughts on Tomes. So today's topic is books that you didn't quite get to in 2017, but you really want to try and get to in 2018. So I picked out a few and I thought this was such a great topic because I feel like this time of year is when you're like, oh yeah, that book. Didn't quite get to it last year, but you really want to get to it this year. Um, so let's look at some of the ones I picked. So the first thing I want to get to this year is completing the Bridgerton series by Julia Quinn. This one isn't really something that's necessarily sitting on my shelf for like a long time or anything, but it's just a series um, I really want to finish this year. So I've read five of the books, I believe, and there's four more in the series, and I have a couple of them. I have to still get a couple of them. I'm gonna check the library. But I just, I really wanna finish the series because lately I've been not the best at finishing series, and I feel like this is one I love enough, and it's so good that I really just want to try and finish it this year. So I didn't get to them this year. At first I thought I'd finish the whole series in a year, but there are nine books in that series and I just didn't get to it this year. So next year, we're gonna get to it. I meant this year. This year we're gonna get to it because it is already 2018. Anyways. <laughs> The next book that I would like to get to this year is the last two books. This is just the second one, but the third one is up on my shelf as well um, in the Discovery of Witches trilogy. Um, if you guys have been watching, you know I loved the first one, Discovery of Witches, in the fall when I read it. And I fully intended on finishing the series last year in 2017, but they're just so dense and they're very time consuming. They're a bit of a chunker of a book that I just didn't have time or... I had time, I just didn't necessarily want to commit to that big of a book. Kind of was in the mood for more of like lighter, quicker reads. But this year, I really want to finish the series before I start forgetting all the plot points and have to reread the first one. So, plus, the TV show is coming out this year sometime. Not sure when, but sometime this year. And I really want to finish the series before that happens. The next one is one that has been on my bookshelf for a little while, and that is Meg Cabot's um, Size 12 is Not Fat. And this one I haven't had actually too long on my shelf, but it's just one that when I bought it, I fully intended on reading it right away because I've read a lot of Meg, a lot of Meg Cabot's kind of younger works, but I haven't read any of her adult stuff. And I know a lot of people adore her adult um, books. So um, I got this one actually, I believe I bought this at Y'all Fest. Not this year, because I didn't go this year, but last year, which is like a book um, festival in Charleston. Um, and she was there, and I'm pretty sure, is it signed? Yeah, it's signed too. <laughs> so, he signed. Um, so I really have no, absolutely no excuse not to read this book, because it's signed, and I need to read it. So, I'm gonna do it. The next one, I'm a little ashamed to say that I didn't get to in 2017, and that is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. Everybody and their brother loves this book, and it's kind of that book that if you like romance, they say, oh, have you read The Hating Game? Um, and I just, I don't know, I've had it for about six months now, I think, um, and I just haven't read it. I picked it up a couple of times, and I put it back down just because I wasn't really in the mood for that type of book, but I'm gonna read it this year, and I'm hoping I will join the bandwagon of people who adore it because I don't know, it just sounds adorable, it's cute, and I really wanna to get to it this year. There is no excuse not to read this book in 2018. Hopefully very soon. And the last thing I wanna to get to in 2017 that I didn't get to last year are two YAs that to me, in my brain, always seem similar, even though I realize they have completely different storylines. And that is A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray and Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rush, I think it is. Um, both of these are YA, like fantasy type books. I don't think they're dystopian. I think they're more fantasy. But I bought them both at the same time a while back. I think I've had these for at least a year and a half now. And I just haven't got to them. And I know a lot of people love them. They're both the start to trilogies. I think they're trilogies or series. And I really want to get into a new YA series that I can kind of like dive into. So. I feel like these need to be read. There's no reason not to read them. And I've heard really good things, particularly about this one. I think I'd probably read this one first. And I'm pretty sure my library has the other two or three. I think it's just two more books. So I really wanna to get to them this year and kind of see what they're about. As if you guys watch, you know I'm a little pickier on what YA series I like. I tend to like YA fantasies or dystopians a lot better 
been YA contemporaries lately. So I'm hoping that this will be a winner because I really liked a couple of the ones I read over the summer. Okay guys, those are all the books that I didn't quite manage to squeeze in in 2017, but I really hope to get to this year in 2018. Let me know what books you just didn't quite get in and you would really like to read this year. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you would like to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.